find the total area under the curve h of x is equal to x cubed divided by five minus x plus one when x is between zero and three so in other words we need to find the area under the curve from an x value of zero all the way to an x value of three or in essence we just want the area of this region here and to do that we can just take an integral of this function from zero to three so let's do that we need to take an integral from zero to three of h of x with respect to x so we have this integral of x to the third divided by five minus x plus one all with respect to x and for this we'll use the power rule for integrals so if we had the integral of x to the n with respect to x you just increase the exponent by one and then you divide by the new exponent and with indefinite integrals you always have a constant and you can check that this is true by just taking its derivative and showing that you get back this original function so taking this derivative you take the exponent and you bring it down in front and multiply it by x and you subtract the exponent by one and the n plus one and the numerator and denominator would cancel and you'd be left with x to the n and for c this plus c out here the derivative of a constant is zero since its rate of change is zero it's constant it's always the same value so let's apply this rule to our problem so this integral is now equal to x to the fourth power since we're just increasing the exponent by one and then we have to divide by the new exponent and then minus this is x to the first power so we'll increase that to a two and then divide by two and then plus the antiderivative of one and with one you can think about that as one times x to the zero since anything to the zero power is just one so it doesn't change the value so we can increase this exponent by one so we have one times x to the first and then we'll divide by that new exponent and then since we're dealing with a definite integral we don't have to add a constant here but we do have to evaluate this entire expression at zero and at three so let's do that we'll first plug in three anywhere we see an x so we have three to the fourth over 20 minus three squared over two plus three and then we'll subtract this expression evaluated at zero but you can notice if you put zero into each of these terms you'll just have zero divided by some number which is zero so this entire expression at zero is zero and now we can just simplify this 3 to the 4th is 81, so we have 81 over 20, minus 3 squared is 9, so we have 9 halves, plus 3, and we can simplify this further by giving everything a common denominator, and the denominator of 20 will work, so we have 81 minus 9 times 10, since we had to multiply this 2 by 10, this would be 90, and then 3, since this is over 1, we have to multiply this by 20. So plus 60. And simplifying this one final step, minus 90 plus 60 is the same thing as minus 30. And 81 minus 30 is just 51. So we have 51 over 20, and this does not simplify further. So this is the final answer. This is the area under the curve from an x value of 0 to an x value of 3.